took in the end just under 44 minutes from 3-0 down for Sam Craigie to get the match won and he knocks out the three times world champion Mark Williams what a performance again from Zhang Ander so Judd Trump departs in round two leave it to the whirlwind to blow it away Jimmy White advances to the round of 32 a dramatic turn of fortunes for the defending champion from 3-1 down two total appearances to Scottish Open final rematch with Joe O'Connor for him what a performance from Martin O'Donnell and Luca Brassell. He knows in every department O'Donnell was better. He decided between Matt Self and Mark Selby. Self got that one. 76 minutes, he won 4-3 on the pink. A dramatic decider to the delight, though, of the John Higgins supporters here. From quarter to one in the morning, Higgins has got the match won. Yes, quarter to one in the morning. Here we are, 12 hours later, ready for day four. There was no morning play, which I think everyone was quite happy about here, but we're looking forward to a big day in Edinburgh at the Scottish Open because we complete the last 32 and the last 16. So at the end of it, just eight players will remain for tomorrow's quarterfinals. We kick off shortly with Karen Wilson, who was so impressive yesterday with those three centuries against Jordan Brown. He's up against Dave Gilbert. That's followed by a rematch of last year's final. Gary Wilson beat Joe O'Connor last year, and they're going to play again place in the last 16. Table 2, Zhang Andrew knocked out Judd Trump up against C. Jawi. And Dominic Dale against Jimmy White, the veterans battle as well. You can watch that later on Discovery+. Plus. Big day for both of them. I'm sure they're looking forward to it. And they both spoke to Alan McManus. Dominic, a big day ahead on quite a few fronts, actually, because of, let's look at the Grand Prix list first. You, you wouldn't secure a place in it with a win against Jimmy, but it would go a long way to doing just that. If I could beat Jimmy today, I think I'd be unlucky if I dropped out again. Um, but we have to see. I mean, I, I need results to go my way, and if they do, I'll be all right. But I'm not really thinking of that. I mean, there's a lot of prestige in doing well here, and potentially I'll have two matches to play. We all do. Um, so I'll just take it one match at a time if I can. How's uh, the listener going on the practice table this morning? Very good. I mean, I had quite a long match in the end with Jamie Jones and I managed to hold myself together with 69, I think it was, in the decider. When you have a match that, of that duration, you pretty much just need to tick over the following day on the practice table just to maybe work on something you felt wasn't working in the match previously or just, as you say, just a loosener just to confirm that you're playing well, really. Jim, I guess one of the reasons why you keep playing this game, um, you know, is that days like today, you know, potentially it's a big one. You've got a tough opponent, but possibly two matches to get deep in this tournament. Yeah, you know, I still love playing. I love practising. Now and again, I play good, you know, and uh, I do the exhibition circuit. I'm here to win. Dominic's a tough opponent, but um, hopefully I can produce some form and win. Yeah, it was nice to get through the other night. You know, it was a struggle towards the end, but you held yourself together nicely in the decider. I wouldn't say that. It was a bit of a nightmare. You know, we both struggled, but uh, lucky enough, I just got through on the black, so I was delighted. Yeah, and, uh, you know, how's the game feeling? I know you had a day off, so hopefully that'll help. Yeah, I had, a, you know, playing well in practice, you know yourself, you don't play anymore, but you get to a stage in your career where you, it's hard to stay focused. Um, but I still love playing, I still love competing, and if I play in the A game, I win. Oh,